Hello, I just came out of sleep, as you might see. Um, and in my sleep, I was attacked by um, some spirit. Um, I was walking down some valley. I don't know exactly why, but... Yeah, there were like... It was like a dark valley with like... Creepy people walking around at night time. And uh, then... On this small <laughs> journey... I suddenly hear someone saying like... Hey... Um, like, give an account of your 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 statements about equality, like, gender equality, and I was like, huh, didn't know what to say about that, but then, um, I came a bit further down, and then there was a woman, and uh, I felt the spiritual force behind this, like a demonic force behind this, um, because, yeah, you can just feel it, you're being suppressed, you're being attacked, uh, it kind of hurts, and you um, you have to stand firm um, in the spirit at this point. So this woman, she said, um, she said, and she attacked the word of God actually, and she said um, that the woman was created created first. That was her statement. The woman was created first. And I knew this to be wrong, of course. This It's a long time since I read those scriptures, but I know that the man was created first and then the woman. You know, you go to the Genesis and you go to First Timothy chapter 2. Uh, but then she also said that... Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, and her name was Sylvie. Or like Sylvia, I'm like... What? That's that's not right. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know why she said that, but I can still feel the demonic presence behind this because I was being attacked in the spirit and I had to like stand firm and pray and and say, No, this is wrong. Or the moment I said that this is wrong, this is not true, that's when I felt the, the spiritual attack come, the demonic demonic force behind it, I felt that attack. The moment that I said, no, this is not true. Anyway, just a minute. So, Sylvie is a female version of the name Sylvius, meaning wood or forest. So, Sylvius, like, means of the forest. Um, so, but what I also saw, noticed when I was searching this name is that uh, in Norway, there's a female politician called Sylvie, and... Or named Sylvie. And probably, maybe she'll be the Prime Minister next time, maybe. Who knows. But, um... Yeah, so about equality, about <laughs> gender roles. Yeah, the Bible clearly states that the man was created first. And the man was not created for the woman, but the woman for the man. And, um... The man... Uh, did not uh, fall into sin, but the woman, or the man was not fooled, but the woman was fooled and um, and fell into transgression. It actually means that Adam knew what he was doing when he was uh, eating that fruit. He was not deceived, but and God knows the reason why he wanted to eat that fruit as well, but he he was not deceived. The woman was deceived. And fell into into transgression, and that's why, that's the reason, why I believe that, um, mainly men should be pastors and shepherds in the church, and men should teach from the Bible, not women, because, men are not so easily deceived as women. Like if men, if men are deceived, it's because they, they want to. More or less. Um, but if 
women are deceived is because their minds are easily tricked. Their minds are easily charmed. For example, if a man says something to a woman that she doesn't agree with, agree with uh, initially, she don't. She does not need much persuasion from a man, especially a, a handsome, charming man, until she completely changes her mind. Because she's easily, more easily from nature, she's more easily deceived, more easily charmed. Um, especially if the person talking to her is a, is a charming, handsome guy or someone she looks up to or respects or she's afraid of, things like that. So it's different with the man. He's not so easily deceived, even though the woman is pretty and everything. He knows. He will still know what's right and wrong. And that's why that's the argumentation I see from the Bible that why a man should not uh, know why a woman should not lead a church. But I know that God puts women to lead churches because men are too weak or they don't answer the calling to to do that, to do that task. So, okay, who's God going to use? Of course, women. If men don't step into the task that they have been given, then a woman has to do it. And I'm not saying it to down any woman. I just believe that initially a woman's role is not to lead a church it's a man's task like it's the man's task to lead the family but if the man is too pussy to lead the family then the woman has to do it see so but i find it really interesting in this dream that i had that yeah it was not just a dream because there was a spiritual force behind it uh tangible or like what i can say clearly i could feel that and um and i've experienced that thousands of times like it's not the first time i've been attacked in my dreams by a spirit so but it's really interesting that she just attacked the word of god straight on like she said the woman was created first that was just her statement so some kind of uh female worship kind of thing and this woman, she seemed to be like a witch, like she was in the forest or she was in the in the field at night time. And she she came with this statement. And the moment I refuted her or said that, no, that that is not true. Then this spiritual attack came and I felt I had to kind of start defending myself spiritually because it hurts like these attacks hurt. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I don't know what you got out of it, out of it, but but the word of God stands true and firm, okay? And the devil will attack the word of God, and as human beings, we don't understand the the consequences of okay, what if what if it was so that the woman was created first or like what if we agreed to that? Then what are the repercussions of that? Then it means like, oh, the woman was created first, that means that the Man was created for the woman and not the woman for the man. And that means that the woman is the stronger one and not the man. And it totally flips the whole gender roles. And that's why I say, I say F no to gender equality. It's not true at all. Like the genders are very different and the gender roles are very different. Okay, and if you put a woman in a man's clothes, it looks ridiculous, okay? Um, and she's not fit for that, those clothes. And the same if you put a man in a woman's clothes, he looks shameful, okay? And, and ridiculous. And uh, it's not fitting for him to be in a woman's clothes. But... This is being attacked very harshly today. And uh, I hope you watch the video until this point so that you got this point that when I see a woman being a priest, like for example, you see these women in like the kind of Catholic type priest robes and dresses. To me, it looks ridiculous because this is a man's uh, role. The man is the priest, not the woman. 
when she's trying to put on these clothes, it doesn't fit her. She's not, she's trying to be a man. And it's just not right. A man is a man. A woman is a woman. But, and if you put a woman in a man's clothes, she just looks, she looks just funny. It's not right. You put a man in a woman's clothes, it definitely does not look right. You know, and it's confusing. It's like, what? It, what the heck is this? Like, you just feel weird and you have to go somewhere else. But um, we're being pushed these... This is being pushed to be the norm nowadays. So, so that we agree to these demonic teachings. And we don't know the consequence. We don't understand initially, like, what if we agree to these teachings which are demonic? Because they refute, or they contradict the word of God. They contradict the nature that God created. And the devil is very cunning. So I can tell you like all the consequences or repercussions of agreeing to like these kind of demonic teachings. But I, I just know that it's wrong because it refutes the word of God. That's enough, you know, that's enough. We don't need to know more. And... Sometimes we just have to trust the Lord, like, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding, like, your understanding might say that, oh, it's okay for a man to be in a woman's clothes. Your understanding might say that it's okay for a woman to be in a man's clothes and do man things and have a dick or whatnot. But this is not right. So, excuse my French. I am just speaking from the heart. So, God bless you. Have a great day. And stand on the word of God. Okay? And we should also pray against these spiritual forces uh, in high places. And speak against these gender role agendas because they are demonic. They are demonic and they're destroying society. I don't know in what ways. I don't know all the ways that it's destroying this society. I just know it is. Because the devil comes to kill, steal and destroy. And when he attacks the word of God like that. When he attacks the gender roles like that. That is something foundational. In society. It means that families will fall apart. It means that. All the moral codes will fall, fall apart. The values, the Christian values will fall apart. In society. Which will just give more room to devil things and will end up like Sodom and Gomorrah where people are just ganging up to gang rape people and it's considered the norm like hey who are you let us let us know you and by know you it means let us have sex with you let us rape you and this becomes like a normal thing in the streets in the cities so, you know, we don't know the, the amount of darkness that may come out of uh, agreeing to demonic teachings. But, but it's definitely opening the doors to some dark stuff. So don't, let's just put it there. Let's just stop it there. Say no to these gender things that are against the word of God and stand firm on that. Stand firm as a man. Say no. It is my role to be the leader of the household. This is the way it's supposed to be. I do not bow to a woman um, when it comes to leading the family. When it comes to spiritual matters. I, don't, I do not bow to a woman. I do not worship a woman. I worship God. That's the man should say. I do not worship a woman. I worship God. You know, or like something like that. And... Because the woman is the weaker vessel. That's the truth. The woman is the weaker vessel. And she needs to be treated like that, as such, with that kind of respect and nurturing care. And I'm not saying that women are weak, but they are the weaker vessel um, compared to the man. Like, I was in the gym yesterday. And I know that I'm not very... Uh, strong as I'm supposed to be in my muscles because I haven't worked out much the past few years but um, I could still 
I saw a woman like struggling with very light weights and she looked kind of like she was experienced in the gym but uh, I don't know how much she had been working out but anyway I could lift easily more than her even though I haven't worked out yeah anyway the way we're created it's different and the woman is the weaker vessel means that the man is a strong part and he doesn't have to be afraid of a woman and I think that many men are afraid of women today. They are afraid of their authority. Men are afraid of the women's voices speaking against them. Men are afraid of being rejected by women. It's not, it should not be so, okay? Because the man is the strong part and the man was not created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Okay, so we just have to get these things straight to 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 have our mindset correct in order to cope with life, everyday life, to not be crazy in the mind. Because, yeah, mental sickness begins with believing lies. You're believing lies or you're not confronting something that you should confront. Or you're, you, you put yourself above God like Nebuchadnezzar, he went crazy because he put himself in the, in the seat of God, you know, in his mind, in his heart. He uplifted himself um, as God in his own heart and he went crazy. He went bonkers. That is God humbling him because when you do that, you, you go insane. And it, it doesn't take a long time. It happens very fast. If you put yourself in the seat of God, you're going to go insane very fast. You're going to go crazy. By pride. Pride will make you insane. Anyway, that was a longer video than I anticipated, but I hope you watched it. I hope you got something out of it. And um, comment below whatever you want. Say I'm a... Uh, whatever but um, I'm just standing on the word of God here because if you don't stand on the word of God if you're a woman or a man you don't stand on the word of God you are agreeing to demonic teachings you're opening up for the devil and you don't know how far that will take you okay so just God bless you have a great day I love you with the love of Christ and God loves you so much more or I mean if we have the love of God in us then we love like God so God bless you. Have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye.